Hello and welcome to a new game. That's not very new, as is usually the case of the new games that I play. This is Shen Chen, I think Shen Chen IO by Sectronics, who made Infinity Factory and a bunch of other games. <laughs> and a lot of other puzzle games. Um, very interesting games. Very hard games. And I don't know if this is a good idea right now, but I don't know. I, I wanted to start something, so we're starting this. Just because I didn't want to do Infinity Factory um, optimizations. We're doing this instead. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing here. I I never know anything about the games that I start, so... This was weird, because it started off with an intro and I tried to capture most of it. I, I missed... I don't think I missed anything. It was just weird at the beginning, because it didn't actually capture the, the game yet. Because OBS takes a little while. Or the audio might be a bit weird. Let's just look at, like, I don't know, control panel. Okay, yeah, this is just a menu, good. Let's maybe go down like this, I don't know. Puzzle archive, I have no idea what that means. Uh, sure. I don't even know what we're doing in this one. <laughs> Apparently we're an engineer who went to China, to Shenzhen, to build things by hand. I don't know. I, 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 I'm contemplating trying to pronounce this. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Hua Chiang Bei? I don't know. Hua Chiang Bai? I don't know. District. Camp 4. Life. Hazy weather. 19 degrees Celsius, so nice and warm. Not too hot, but very poor air quality. And moderate drone activity, whatever that means. I assume that this ends the game. Uh... Don't know what that does. Let's see, do we have any emails? Welcome from. Can't read that name. Dear new employee, thank you for joining Shenzhen Long Teng Electronics Company Limited. We aim to become a world leading company in the electronics industry and a respected brand with products in homes, offices, and public spaces across the world. Long Teng Electronics was founded on the following principles. First one diligence. This means both diligence in your work and diligence in your life. When you encounter a problem, do not give up. Even if you're not talented, by working at it every day, little by little, you can achieve the goal. Wow. That sounds a bit... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's let's just move on from that. Uh, second one, connections. The process of creating electronics is the process of creating connections between different components. In the same way, we do business by making connections with other people. Therefore, it is important to always be making connections in your work. And the third one is... Salubriousness. I don't know, never heard of that. An unhealthy mind creates an inefficient design. An unhealthy body builds a defective product. Follow co correct eating, correct behavior, and correct thinking in order to maximize your potential. Please keep these principles in mind as you contribute to our efforts. Wang Hong, Wang Yong Hong, CEO. I have no idea. Chinese, not, you know, not the language I'm familiar with at all, so yeah. Carl Teske, welcome. Ah, fresh meat. Just kidding. Welcome to southern China. It's all right, I suppose. Except for the heat, smog, and lack of decent cheese here in Shenzhen. So far better than any engineering gig I can find back home in the UK, though. I'm assuming you ended up here for similar reasons. Carl. Joe. Yo. <laughs> so I heard you're our newest ace engineer is going to kick ass and take names. Am I right? You've already heard all about me already, but I'm the product guy. Who loves to find amazing opportunities and make deals happen? Let's do this! Sounds very energetic. Which, yeah, doesn't appeal to me. <laughs> Joe Hightao, product manager. Uh, Wu Li Li. Greetings and welcome to the team. As you've already been made aware, we are on a major international expansion effort and we are very eager to see you bring your skills and expertise to our company, Li Li Wu. Or is that Lily? I don't know. Vice President of Product Long Teng. Yeah, limited, whatever. Welcome. My name is David, or, yeah, David, <laughs> in Chinese. I was brought on to help Long Teng with its international push. Though I've only recently moved here from San Francisco, where, I should point out, there's a very vibrant Chinatown. I'm really loving it so far. It is truly fascinating to see a culture at once so ancient and so modern from up close. I'm sure we will be working closely together to create many successful products. 
David P. Solomon, International Product Manager. I don't know. I don't like. I don't like David. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't. I don't like him. Moving on. Hello, my name is Shi Chang. I'm the Chief Staff Engineer. Your boss. Uh, I have not managed many foreign workers before, so please understand if I make a mistake here or there. Anyhow, I will send you first job shortly. Chi, all right. Read the manual. I know you're good at engineering systems, at engineering systems and life in general. You haven't needed ma a manual in ages, right? Well, trust me on this one. You really, 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 really want to read the manual here. Even better if you keep it handy as you work. Don't be like the non-manual using person who quit just before you started and whose name shall never be added again. Carl. All right. So where's the manual? I don't know. Security camera fake. This product is an imitation mock security camera. It has two blinking lights. The first light blinks in a regular pattern. The second light is an internal internet light. So it should be blinking in a more random intermittent pattern to resemble data uploads. As you will notice, the design is partially complete already. A previous engineer left, quit, before finishing the assignment. Note the timing diagrams in the verification tab. When you simulate, your outputs should match those expected values as indicated. Let the simulation run until it has passed all of the test cases to make sure you have a proper solution. Gee, I'm absolutely certain you'll do better than the last person. Create a working design for this product, sure. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Where is, where's the manual though? I should probably, can I go back here and back here? Yeah. Oh, it's a PDF and a big one. How many pages? Doesn't tell me, this reader sucks. That is a lot of pages just from glancing at it. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be very hard. Maybe I should print this out, actually. I don't know, it's a waste of paper. I'm not gonna print this. I'm just gonna have it open on the second screen and move it around a bit. And it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be all good. Do I, how, do I have to go back here to start it again? I guess so. Let's just look at it. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Active and network are simple outputs connected to LEDs. Control the active, active and network outputs with fixed repeating signals as indicated in the verification tab. Throwing us right in the game. Great. No idea what I'm doing here. So yeah, we want... Yeah. Off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on for the active simple output and the network output should be kind of random, but not really random, but more random the other one. All right. I have no idea what I'm doing. Actually, yeah, the first the first thing in the manual is for the best Shenzhen IO experience, we highly recommend printing this manual and assembling a binder that you can refer it to as you play. This is pretty crazy. Man, this is not easy. There's some more story here too. Visa application form. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So what do I like? Let's see what's just what happens here. Okay, and this is just doing the, okay. I think I understand this. I don't know how I do things here, but I guess I need this. Right? What's the difference between this and that? <laughs> uh, does it matter?
Mr. Wires. Crazy. Okay, so much stuff here. We'll learn, we'll learn. But even without the manual here, I can do things, I'm pretty sure. I'll just say I can. See, I, I made the same thing happen. I'm really good at this. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three, four. So I want to sleep. I don't know what any of this means. We'll just copy it, though. Because I don't know what else to do, and I don't want to not do anything. Uh... So we're just turning on the power, obviously. Zero in the hundred. Um, we sleep for four, we turn it on. We sleep for two. We turn it back to zero. Sleep for one. Uh, let's, I don't know, let's just I don't know. Separately completed one test run. Let the simulation continue running to complete the verification process. All right. Did it. <laughs> I'm less efficient than Chrome, apparently, but that's fine. <laughs> I don't care. Oh man. Actually, let's think about this a bit. Do I want to think about this a bit, actually? <laughs> Where am I wasting energy? I'm not sure. What was the resort thing again? Can I bring that back up without doing anything? That's the one that's interesting to me. <laughs> like my code, my lines of code obviously is just whatever. I didn't really pay attention to it. Can I drag this? No. Um, production co cost is pretty much constant, I guess. I don't know, let's just return here. Uh, thanks for your prompt work on the blinking lights. Looks okay. <laughs> we did it. We did okay. Chen Chen days. Uh, why are we even here? Hi everyone. We've had a bunch of new signups this week, so let me reintroduce myself. I'm your host, uh, Tilly Liu. I don't know. <laughs> and I run this fun little mailing list for expats in Chen Chen. I'm here to demystify some aspects of life and culture here, along with the side. Helping of color commentary, sometimes just a color commentary. Yeah, I get distracted. Today's topic is, why the heck are we in Chen Chen? No really, like, why are we here at all? I don't mean in the immediate sense, sure, we all have some job or some businessy thing to do, but let's talk about the larger factors at play. We're here because Chen Chen's been one of the fastest growing cities in the world for the past few decades, ever since it was declared a special economic zone back in 1980. We're here because it and Chen Re, and really, oh, wow, <laughs> the entire Pearl River Delta region is a sprawling megacity, wholly dedicated to trade, manufacturing and services. A giant economic machine, we're here because what's possible in Shenzhen really isn't possible in many other places in the world, certainly not at the same scale and cost. So where's all this capability headed? You know, in the future, are we going to just make more stuff, more products and things until the world is buried in crap? I guess I'm asking, what is all of this incredible growth for, anyway? 
I have some ideas, but that's a topic for another day. Yours, Tilly. Well, yeah, whatever. And then I guess I have to please enjoy a game. My daughter is learning programming. She created a simple card game. Would anyone like to try it and give some feedback for her? I put a link on everyone's desktop. She's interested to become a game developer. Gee. Wow, hey, it's both a lot more polished and far harder than I was expecting. I also managed to design quite a challenging patience game. Maybe there could be an undo function? She says she doesn't think it's, it needs undo because it's actually quite easy once you develop some skill. <laughs> Win a game of Solitaire, sure. Where do I do that? On the desktop, which is here. Yeah. Is it just normal Solitaire? What are the rules? I don't know the rules, which is a problem. Instructions. To win, stack the three suits from one to nine in the top right corner of the table. Sure, that's no more sorry here. Cards can be stacked and moved in the center of the table, but only if they are of alternating suits and decreasing value. Okay. The three cells in the top left corner of the table can store one card of any type. When all four dragons of a single type are exposed, they can all be permanently moved to an open free cell by pushing the corresponding button. Okay, so that's one and two of those, but not three. But I can put this guy here, for example, and then... Let's see... This is not very easy, is it? Wait, how many dragons are there? Four. Oh, that's the, that's the last one. I didn't see that one. Okay. What do we do? If I do this one up here, then this one will go up there, and then this one will be exposed. Does it count ex as exposed if it's up here? I'm not sure. can't do that because that's the same suit. Hmm. I can't can I can you put them anywhere? You can't. That's kind of sucks. But I can do what if I do this? Yeah. Oh but it kills one of my free spaces, right, right. I didn't, yeah, that's what I was also wondering, but yeah, it was pretty clear actually, I was just hoping that wouldn't be what it would do. This is not easy. But I guess it would be very out of place if it were easy. Here is not really a very good move in hindsight, um, but I guess I can do this to get it back. Oh, it's not in order. I don't know. I'll just. I'm not very good at this, <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep playing, I guess, until we get very stuck, which could be soon. Doing this up here is not a good move, because then I don't have any free spaces left. No, it's the same. What's this card? I don't know, but it's now up there. Okay, so that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> we'll take it. Um, if I do this... I can do this. 
this. I'm not sure if it's smart to get these out of the way quickly or not. Because it does get rid of a free space thing, which is not great, but on the other hand, one, two, three, rest the fourth one back here. Three, four, five. Uh, another five. You can put here, and then, okay, yeah, this is fine. It's not very hard. I thought it was harder than it actually is. We won a game. Great. Lots of Chinese. <laughs> Don't know what it means. Can't translate it. Aww. Alright, do we do another one without knowing the manual at all? I don't know. Um, Replacement factory module, controller signal amplifier. Our factory floor has some examples of older equipment that requires controller signals to be amplified. We had to, we had a device to adjust signals for this type of machine, but recently it was broken, smashed. <laughs> I like his, you know, parentheses stuff. Uh, this is an appropriate project to teach you about inputs. Gee, smashed? Hang on a sec. What happened? Is everyone okay? No need to worry. <laughs> of course not. Controller in is a simple input connected to factory equipment. Control out is a simple output connected to other factory equipment. The signal from control in should be multiplied by two and copied to control out. I wonder what's the difference between the pin type mismatch. Okay, so that's what this is. Why they are different. Okay, and then... Okay, because it has the yellow thingy, I guess. So do I just get the... Hmm... <laughs> hmm... I don't know. to do here by two all right so let's just do to something, I guess. What's the, what's the syntax? Do I just type i equals whatever? Uh, where does it tell me? Tell me. I really should have printed this. Because <laughs> this is not very convenient the way I'm doing it. We'll, we'll learn from this. We'll be better and stronger in the future. I 
I don't need I don't need all of this information. I just need an example of something, someone using an integer somewhere. I could just try, I guess. Also, the syntax is not really it, like it looks like it's like register of integer. Oh, I probably do like this actually, right? Does this do anything? No. So is it actually like this then? Too many operands, okay. But like this, it doesn't have any. That can't be right. Uh... <laughs> I for already forgot the sample code from the first one, <laughs> which I would really need right now, just so I, I don't know. I mean, the output would be then like, like this, right? And then have it be. Actually, can I do that in one line? I probably can't. That would be very, very good to. I could have just. something like this, but I can't. I probably have to save this in a variable, but I don't know. I don't know how. find the right, like it's, I don't know, I don't like the way this is structured, this document here. Each type of instruction requires a fixed number of operands. If an instruction has an associated operand, as any associated operands, they must appear following the instruction name, separate by spaces. For the benefit of development productivity, the program system does not require the use of redundant punctuation to separate instruction operands. So I'd, like this is a register then, it can do just one, it's called I or whatever. No. I, yeah, I don't think I can solve this without reading. <laughs> up on the syntax bit. Oh no, this is just what it's supposed to have, I guess. Whatever. Copy the value of the first operand into the second operand. Yeah, we want... Yeah, and how do I make a register then? anything do I uh, I just want to see something <laughs> show me show me a multiplication or something somewhere there are some sample code things but I, I I'm Maybe I should just try, but I want to find something. <laughs> this is not good video. <laughs> and I'm painfully aware of that. I should end the episode too. I should not have done this. I should have 
and the episode after the Sortier game. Ah, all right, so... I still don't know how to define like variables. That's that's the big big thing right now. And then I don't know how to use the arithmetic things. Cause it seems to me it would have to be like P0. What actually is MOV though? Maybe I need to understand what that does. value of the first operand into the second operand. Oh right, right, so I probably have to just save this in the... Can I just do... It's still invalid register for some reason. Why? And how do I define one? this directly here. Second, what about the value of the first operand? But the value of the act like a source. Okay, so it's just. I don't even know. and it should be 50 and then it goes to zero and it should be zero. I'm not really getting here is why does this like... Okay, then I guess at the end I need to sleep for one. Right, okay, so I guess I get it now. Probably optimize this, but it's functional at least. Got the exact same solution as Chrome, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> Alright, so the ACC, the ECK, <laughs> is the general purpose register used for internal computation. So it's just everything gets saved into there by default. I understand that now. And then uh, the multiplication thing is just MUL, MUR, I guess. And then you put in the whatever you want to multiply egg with. Looks good, thank you. Take care, yeah? All right. But that's it for for today, I guess. Don't know when the series will start. I might just try to create a backlog of videos before I start releasing, because I have a feeling that, that these are gonna get kind of hard. And I'm still not sure if I want to actually print things or just mess around with the PDF on my second monitor, I'm not sure. Printing would have a certain advantage for sure, but I don't know. 
<laughs> I'm not sure. Well, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.